Welcome back, everybody. This is Scott with Off Grid Stoves and More. Uh, as you can see, we are not in the shop today. It's after the holidays, and Julie and I were so busy working the holidays uh, that today has finally arrived to where we can just sit and chill. Uh, the reason why I'm making the video is for all of you out there that have emailed us throughout the holiday uh, and has frantically been asking us to assist due to the fact that it's very, very cold out these days uh, with this cold front that moved in. And we are pretty much in a position to where we have tried to help as many of you as possible throughout Christmas, Christmas Eve, uh, and so forth. But I have to ask, uh, you know, very kindly to please understand that Julie and I are, we feel for you. We understand that you're having issues with your stove and there really isn't anybody to turn to these days in regards to uh, getting assistance with the Oster Floms. And uh, that's why we've taken on the mission of being here for you as much as we can. Now, the reason why I say it that way is because we've had individuals write us, uh, let's just say Christmas Eve night or Christmas morning, uh, panicking, and we unfortunately do not monitor our emails uh, at all times of holiday hours to where we get right back to you. And, you know, we may have had one or two individuals that feel as though that we should, and they're not too that you know necessarily happy with this um but remember you know please remember this we don't charge for our services we don't charge for our time uh we do this because we feel for you guys out there and uh somebody has to be able to assist you so again you know have patience with us uh, especially you know when there's cold fronts that come in you know the overwhelming uh, need for assistance is is pretty high for Julie and I. And yeah, for those that don't understand exactly what we do by watching all of our videos is we have our retail business, we have our installation business, which we really don't like to call ourselves installers anymore due to the fact that uh, the only reason why we're installing these days is because there really isn't uh, many installers in this part of Texas. And so people are begging us to help them with a heat source. And, you know, so we, we do what we can. But as for getting back to you guys as quick as possible, please understand that you know, we do have a personal life too. Not much of a personal life left uh, these days, but we are in a position to where we're, we're, we're giving up most of our personal life in order to help. I mean, we, we sat and assisted people as late as uh, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, and, you know, we got them up and running, uh, being able to bypass this or, or whatever in order to safely um, get the stove operating in these dangerously cold conditions out there. Um, but one thing that I want to, you know, add in here, which may answer some questions for many of you, which we've experienced over the holiday, is that a lot of you have watched our videos and you feel as though that just cleaning the stove is going to be a cure to most of your problems. Uh, in some ways, yes, that is correct. Um, but when you do have a part malfunctioning that is wearing out, uh, just because it seems like it's operating properly to you, uh, the parameters that it's operating at might not be as the factory uh, built it to do due to the fact that age you know, wears everything out and creates a weaker part a lot of times before the part goes out. So 
you have to understand that a particular part that is going out can affect another part to where it might not have enough voltage being sent to it or the proper conditions in order for it to work properly. Um, so if by chance you do watch uh, the cleaning videos and you feel as though that you have, you know, taken note to everything I really tried to point out in the videos uh, has been done, the next thing you have to understand is if the stove was working, okay, I did, this is this is pretty much a situation here. If the stove was working before you cleaned it and you're just doing a general maintenance on it and then all of a sudden it doesn't work, just go back to before you touch the stove and think about what you could have potentially changed. If you pulled any gaskets apart, um, you know, and or if you changed any gaskets, uh, you have to understand that whatever you did before you did the cleaning, whatever changed or you replaced, go to that point and focus on it. Due to the fact that if you replaced a, let's say a door gasket and you use the, uh, an improper rope uh, gasket that is not designed for the Osterflum, it could be allowing too much air into the firebox, which is going to throw everything off. Uh, this works with the uh, air sensor gasket. This works with the horizontal clean, uh, horizontal clean outdoor gasket. This works with the combustion gasket, um, the combustion fan gasket that is. Uh, also the low limit switch gasket. So if you've changed any of those, then you have to understand that something could be allowing too much air into the system at those points. Um, so that right there, I don't want to get too much more involved here other than that, because we've had a lot of individuals that did feel as though that it was time to maintenance. You know, they had extra time off, uh, off for the holidays. So they start cleaning their stove and then all of a sudden it's not working. Well, unless you literally had your stove plugged in and you grounded the wire out um, and blew the motherboard or, or whatever, um, just figure as though that it's not electronic. Electronics to be focused on is after the fact of doing the cleaning and checking all of the parts for uh, proper voltages and so forth. And if everything works there, then you move on to the electronics. And the number one thing that normally goes out, unfortunately, in the electronics is the motherboard. So that is pretty much how you do the process of elimination. So keep emailing us. Julie and I are, you know, we're still here. Um, please don't get upset with us if we don't get back to you during the holiday hours, obviously, or holidays uh, within, I can even say 24 hours because we did spend time with family and, you know, we weren't online. So again, offgridstoves at gmail.com. Um, don't try to call us. Um, due to the fact that we have an answering service this time of year because there would be no way to answer the phones and do emails and do installs and sell stoves and chimney pipe and yada, yada, yada. So anyhow, offgridstoves at gmail.com. We wish you guys a very safe and merry, merry Christmas. And uh, we wish you all the best. Stay safe out there. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.